On today's episode of McKellism, we're going to go over the anatomy of your 1992 to 1995 front lip on your Lexus SC300, SC400, and Toyota Soar. This way, if you understand how it's put together or how it's taken apart, ultimately you'll know how to either install it, take it off at the junkyard with ease, or if you buy a front lip like Wise, for example, with no pre-drilled holes, what you'll need to do and how to line that stuff up. Um, the brackets are, um, they do come with brackets, but you can make some as well. So just in hindsight, overall of this, the front lip is basically squashed together like a sandwich. So there's a thin layer right here, and then there's two brackets on each side that sandwich to hold it together. And that's why you see a lot of these Y's front lips or other front lips, or even the 97 ones that come up, up off the edge like that because there's nothing holding them in. So first and foremost, y'all can see the shirt, Uniqlo in the house, if you know about Uniqlo. It's one of my favorite department stores in Japan. And oh, look at the socks to match. So as we come to the back of the bumper, this is a 94 or 93, somewhere around there. It's the uh, Chuki, which is uh, first term, as you guys know, in the 240 world, or if you use that term, or season one, as you guys call it over in Aus. Um, four 10 millimeters, as you can see. There'll be four on the other side, and then there's another five right here in the middle. So it basically sandwiches the stick together. So when you have your front lip, make sure you line up the edges first on the outside, especially if you have a wise lip, which I have bought before. It does not have the holes pre-drilled. Now, the tools you'll need is either a ratchet set, whatever's easiest for you. Take up your ratchet, your 10 millimeter, I believe. Let's size it up right now to make sure it's a 10. There you go, 10 mil. Or you can get your open end ratchets like one of these. Either will do whatever you prefer, you'll be good to go. Now, just remember when you're at a junkyard, you're gonna have your liner tray over here. So you're gonna have to one, two, three, four, pop those out. Um, the middle one, I don't believe you have to. So normally what I do, just to make it a little bit easier, all that good stuff, I'll put the extension on for extra leverage just to get it off real quick. Let me get this out the way. And then what you'll do is you'll apply your pressure and start turning. The reason why I'm using hand tools instead of let's say power tools is Everybody has hand tools, but not everybody has power tools. Don't want to hear any complaints. You know, you should use power tools. Well, I'm doing this for the average person that could probably get it done. Like I said, you're at the junkyard, you have no power tools. You're just now getting in the cars. How quote unquote easy is this? As y'all say, even though you never get a rating from wet toilet paper to diamond on how hard things are, you know? Some people are good at it, some people aren't. So I'll let y'all be the judge of how quote unquote hard this is. All right, so make sure you keep all your bolts. And here's one piece of the bracket. It contours to the um, bumper as well. And then the bottom part right here would just pry down in a sense, come out the hole. So you can pull that out. You could either use a flat head to put pressure to get it out or whatever you need to do. It's pretty hot today, so you can bend it out. As you can see, the bracket is under the lip right here. This is very important. I want you guys to pay attention to this because your wise lip will have something like this, but it won't be pre-drilled. So you're gonna, you could get a piece of metal, screw in your own screws from the other end, tap it, and then line them up. So one, two, three, four, and we don't need to take this off just yet because I'm going to put it on my 95 front. And next we'll move to the left side. While it's off, you could probably end up getting a hammer and straighten this out, but don't try to bend it too much because it's very weak and it will break. Again, you can make up your own brackets for your wise front lip if you have a 92 to 95, 96 front. Sorry, I keep saying 95 because that's what I have. And all you'll do to install is just reverse this process. 
You also have your crash bumper, right? Your little crash foam right there. That does not work for 97 and newer as that front is a little bit wider and getting it in there to form, it's close but no cookie. So right now we are just focusing on the 92 to 96. Please keep that in mind. If you want to throw this on a 97 front, there is a way. You basically have to cut it down the center. And then once you do that, you will go ahead and extend it. My thumb keeps hitting, sorry. Get to the neutral switch. And Amazon's here with my package. Speaking of packages, while I'm taking this off, guys, I ordered a um, one of those little windscreens for my, my other mic so I can bring you guys some quality, uh, I guess you could say kind of talk show TV shows. And I ordered my daughter some pool toys and somebody really stole our packages and we live in a nice neighborhood. So I'm really upset about that. Um, I'll get her more pool toys, but it's just kind of bummed. Last few months have been shitty from me. Excuse my language, which is why I haven't been on the YouTube and I don't want to disser disservice you guys with any low quality videos of me not being me. So please forgive the inconsistency with the videos. All right, again, comes right off. And then we'll go ahead and separate the bumper from the lip right there. That came off a lot easier. Now, you don't wanna get these right here. Don't worry about that. This is to the under tray. I think these might be 12s. Nope, they're still 10s. So, once you do this, the front lip comes off super easy. I might need a new ratchet. This one keeps going into the neutral position. So the five down here are actually a bolt with the thread. So those will go right in. This should be on your OEM, all that good stuff. So what you'll do is even if you have no markings, you can use these as markings when you have your wise front lip where to drill your bracket. So as long as you get two pieces of metal, which there's one on top here that it goes through and one on the bottom. Again, think of a sandwich. Two pieces of bread with a nail going through it. And the bumper, the bumper is the peanut butter and jelly or your ham or whatever sandwich you like. Think of it like that. So think of the bumper again. This is your peanut butter and jelly. This is your top piece of bread. The metal bracket on the other side is your other piece of bread. And then the screw is just making sure it stays together and it don't fall apart like your hands clamping on it. It's the best analogy I can put it. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Now we're going to this one right here. Yes, again, remember the bottom one has five. If you guys are looking for an OEM front lip, looks like part numbers are right here. I'll give it to you right now while I'm on doing these. Top part number is 76081-24020. Bottom part number is 76851-24030. So, if there are any brand new, I don't know, but they're probably a good five, 600 bucks new 600 bucks new so if you can find one used definitely go for it Ooh, what is this i've never seen this does that come with it yeah look at that okay so this is the first time i've had front lips my car did not come with one oem this is interesting it's kind of like a i guess you could say hold the form right here foam for the front lip i've never noticed that part right there that's pretty crazy so i'm guessing the other one there is the part number for that you learn something new every day guys and this is why I tell you to just try stuff out, you know? Um, little backstory about this color. This is 8J5, which is Midnight Indigo Pearl. So it's a very, very dark blue color. This is the color my first Lexus SC was, which was my learning SC. And I really liked it a lot. It's just previous owner didn't take care of it. I think they resprayed the hood after maybe an accident or something, I don't know. So again, it sandwiches in between and clamps them together. So please keep that in mind. Now let's take this off. I got my measuring tape here just to show you guys. Cause I, you know, I love body kits and I know my stuff. Reason is because I like to experiment and see 
the difference between anything. We'll go to ground level, which this is pretty much at right here. And I usually measure up to this line right here where the top of the bumper would meet the hood. So yeah, it's a little bit higher because it's reaching forward, but from the ground to basically that hood line right there, you can see it's about 17 inches. So the lip ranges from two inches to three inches tall. As we all know, bumpers kind of like a curve upward like this. So if you ever see a side profile of a vertex or something like that, and it angles upward, uh, auto manufacturers do that for, for clearance purposes of cars. It's very subtle. You can only tell when you're looking from the side. So let's get a measurement on this front lip in the center right here, now that I've got it. So you can see the lip is about two and a half inches in the middle portion because it still has to adapt to that curvature. Now, when we go to the outside flanges, right here on the outside, ooh, this thing is dirty, look at me. It's three inches. So it still suits the form. Now, with that being said, vertex kits are going to be about 20 inches tall from the same position I'm, I measured from, from the floor up to this line right here. That's why it looks so much lower. If anybody has measurements on the BN kit, please let me know as that's the only kit I have not had hands on with um, to figure out basically how tall it is, etc. which I basically know it's basically Super Saiyan 2 Vertex. So let me get this front lip out the way in the brackets, guys. Probably gonna take this bumper to storage. Um, I got an idea for a new kit, basically a version 4.0, cause I'm still working on 3.0, but I'm gonna put it on the back burner and maybe do a giveaway to somebody, you know, once we hit a certain amount of subscribers, all that good stuff. So let's take a look right here. If you do not, if you do not have a front bumper with the holes drilled in, again, you're gonna wanna line everything up with the front lip. I have to get this again, sorry. So if you score a front lip from the junkyard and you do not have holes drilled in your 95 or whatever base model or not equipped, you can always line up where you need the drill with corresponding the tabs right here on the bottom. So you'll just kind of go straight up. The closer you get, the better. It may not be accurate, but it'll do the same thing. Um, you can or cannot leave it as open if you want. I mean, if you're that accurate, it would be kind of hard to bend the plastic back and put it back in. I would just kind of clear it out that way you know, the weight of itself can press down and sandwich in. So if you're not, uh, if you're worried about not having holes, again, use the marker points on the lip or your liner tray. It should line up just fine. Same with the bottom piece right here. You'll have the holes. Again, start with the outside first and then work your way to the inside. Um, I wish I had a 97 front on me so I could show you guys what else to do. Anyways, that's pretty much it. So let's go over it again. You've got four holes drilled in on this flange as if there were buck teeth on the SC, which the LC500 has as well. Right here, one, two, three, four. Yes, I'm grinding the paint on this. It's a spare bumper, don't worry. One, two, three, four, five. And then the other four on the other side because it basically builds in that gap of emptiness to about this tall. Thank you for tuning in, guys. I hope this was helpful to somebody else. If you have any front lip related questions to the 92 to 96 that I just went over or something I didn't cover, please add in the comment section. And best of luck to all y'all. I hope I help you find your ism. And remember, nothing's stopping you. There is God inside of you. You can all do this. You just have to try and you just have to want it. If you don't want it, you're not gonna work for it. So please remember that. Thank you for tuning in and you guys have a blessed day. Peace.